Boy oh boy if there's one thing that gets me pumped it's the properties of algebra. This new vocabulary can be intimidating at first but it really won't take that long to understand what these new words mean and how they help you with math. Commutative just means that the order of the numbers change without changing the answer. In this example 12 plus 7 is exactly the same as 7 plus 12. Commutative examples, 15 plus 6 plus 8 is exactly the same as 8 plus 15 plus 6 or 11 plus 17 plus 50 is exactly the same as 17 plus 50 plus 11. For now we can think about the associative property as being just like the commutative only now they use parentheses. Identity property is so simple it's almost confusing. The identity property describes a problem with an unnecessary number and operation. Check out the examples. 13 plus 0 equals 13. Duh. The same goes for multiplying or dividing by 1. Dividing a number or multiplying a number by 1 doesn't change the answer. Whatever. The identity property is at least pretty easy to understand. The distributive might look like the most confusing one of the properties. But it's not. Let's come back to this definition to the book after we just look at some simple examples. Let's practice the distributive property by doing some mental math. Look this is one of my students Evie. I am Evie. I am the master at mental math. I use the distributive property when I do mental math. What is 22 times 6? 20 times 6 equals 120 and 6 times 2 equals 12. And 120 plus 12 equals 132. See it's that easy. Let's do another problem. Use the distributive property to do 65 times 8. 60 times 8 equals 480. 5 times 8 equals 40. 480 plus 40 equals 520. Let's go back to the book and read what they have to say about the distributive property. Eight times fifty-nine is the same or equal to eight times fifty and eight times nine. Eight times fifty-nine is really close to being a very simple problem like eight times sixty. So we can just group things differently and still get the same answer. 